break, cause this 38 will be designated for all those that hate it. Like a chess man, I don't contemplate it. Your moves, you lose, now your hot, you gave me new moves. More dudes, now the top, you made me same rules, new crew, now the first. What's up? Welcome back, LFR family. Very nice to see y'all on the other side of that screen. Yes, I do see you. I see all of you. <laughs> yes, you too, Jacqueline. I see you, Jacqueline. I see you, Larry. <laughs> hey, what's up, brother? Rush fan. I see you out there. All right, we about to check out some George Collin. Name of this joint is Everyday Expressions That Don't Make Sense. So um, we already know George Collin brings the heat. So uh, let's not waste any time and check this out. Now this next thing, this next thing is about the English language. It's about little expressions we use. We, we all say and the little sayings and expressions that we use all the time, most of us. And we never really seem to examine these expressions very carefully at all. We just sort of say these things as if they really made sense. Like, legally drunk. <laughs> well, if it's legal, what's the fucking problem? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Leave my friend alone, officer. He's legally drunk. <laughs> you know you can stick it. Well, why do we always assume everyone knows where they can stick it? <laughs> Suppose you don't know. Suppose you're a new guy. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, uh, maybe this was on... It was not on my, uh, my study list, so uh, w where am I supposed to stick it? <laughs> He says, suppose you're the new guy. <laughs> you have absolutely no idea where to stick it. I think there ought to be a government booklet entitled, Where to Stick It. <laughs> now that I think of it, I believe there is a government booklet like that. They sent it to you on April 15th. <laughs> Undisputed heavyweight champion. Well, if it's undisputed, What's all the fighting about? <laughs> it's the quiet ones you gotta watch. I never understood that right there. Never understood why. Because they don't show their hand. Now you gotta watch them. Oh, I don't trust your ass because you always doing everything right. You always smiling and shit. What you always smiling for? What you look always looking all nice for? Those the ones you gotta watch. Come on, what? You know that one, eh? Every time you see a story about a serial killer on TV, what do they do? They bring on the neighbor. And the neighbor says, well, he was always very quiet. And someone in the room says, it's the quiet ones you've got to watch. This sounds to me like a very dangerous assumption. I will bet you anything that while you're watching a quiet one, a noisy one will fucking kill you. <laughs> Suppose you're in a bar and one guy's sitting over on the side reading a book, not bothering anybody. Another guy's standing up at the front with a machete, banging it on the bar, saying, I'll kill the next motherfucker who comes in here. <laughs> who are you going to watch? Oh, the quiet one. Right. Watching the quiet one. <laughs> watching the quiet one. Lock him up and throw away the key. This is really stupid. That's dumb as hell. Who thing. are you going to throw the key? Right out in front of the jail? Yeah, that's dumb His as hell. His friends will find it. And then get there, everybody 50, 60 feet the most. <laughs> Even if you lay it flat on its side like that and you scale it, what do you get? An extra 10 feet, tops. This is a stupid idea. I know y'all saw me just now flex a little bit. I've been in the um, gym. I apologize. I'm not trying to show off. But when I caught myself, I went up here to put my hands like this um, and rest. And then I saw, my, I saw my little muscles starting to show a little bit. And, you know what I mean? I got a little proud of myself. So, you know, I Oh, oh, I decided to flex a little bit. Needs to be completely rethought. <laughs> down the tubes. Down you don't want to laugh. People say, ah, the country is going down the tubes. <laughs> what tubes? <laughs> Have you seen any tubes? Where are these tubes? And where do they go? <laughs> and how come there's more than one tube? <laughs> <laughs> It would seem to me, one country, one tube. What, does every state all of a sudden have to have its own tube now? <laughs> one tube is all you need. Just what, a tube. tube that big? Somebody would have seen it by now. <laughs> Somebody would have said, hey, Joey, Joey, look at a fucking tube. <laughs> big ass fucking tube over here. You never hear that. You know why? No tubes. We don't have tube one. We are essentially 
Publis. <laughs> takes the cake. You know, say, boy, he really takes the cake. Where? <laughs> Where do you take a cake? To the movies? You know where I would take a cake? Down to the bakery to see the other cakes. <laughs> <laughs> and how come he takes the cake? How come he don't take the pie? <laughs> pie is easier to carry than the cake. It is. Easy as pie. <laughs> hey, wait. Cake is not too hard to carry either. Piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> Piece of cake. The greatest thing since sliced bread. That makes absolutely no damn sense. So this is it, huh, folks? <laughs> sliced bread is all of it. Couple of hundred thousand years. Couple of hundred thousand years, and the best thing that ever happened to us is wonder goddamn bread. The fucking pyramids, for Christ's sakes. <laughs> Panama Canal, the Great Wall of China. Even a lava lamp. <laughs> Mumbo sauce. Mumbo sauce. All of China. Even a lava lamp. <laughs> to me, is greater than sliced bread. What's so great about sliced bread? You got a knife, you got a loaf of bread, slice the fucking thing! <laughs> and get on with your life. <laughs> and get on with your life. Out walking the streets. You know, guy gets a parole. They say, now instead of being in prison, this guy is out walking the streets. How do we know? <laughs> Maybe the guy's home banging the babysitter. <laughs> Not everybody gets a parole is out walking the fucking streets. A lot of times they, they steal a car, you know. And we ought to be glad. Thank God he stole a car. He's not, At least out, he's walking not out walking the streets. He's not out walking the streets. <laughs> Fine and dandy. That's an old-fashioned one, isn't it, yeah? Say to a guy, how are you? He says, fine and dandy. Not me. I never say that. You know how come? Because I'm never both of those things at the same time. Sometimes I'm fine, not dandy. Close to dandy. Approaching dandy. In the vicinity of dandyhood. Not quite fully dandy. Other times, I am indeed highly dandy. <laughs> However, not fine. One time, one time, 1965, August, for about an hour. I was both fine and dandy at the same time. But nobody asked me how I was. <laughs> And I could have told him. I could have told him. I could have told him. I could have said to the person, fine and dandy. I consider it a lost opportunity. <laughs> Walking papers. You know? Guy gets fired. He said, geez, poor guy. Well, they give him his walking papers today. Did you ever get any walking papers? <laughs> Seriously? Believe me, in my life, I got fired a lot of times. You can tell. <laughs> Never got... I could definitely tell, man. I, I'm certain that his ass... If he didn't get fired, he quit. Because he's a, he's, he, he, he's a jerk. He's a jerk. R.I.P. to the GOAT, but he's a jerk. A lot of times. <laughs> you can tell. Never got any walking papers. Never got a pink slip either. You know what I would get? A guy would come around to my desk and say, get the fuck out of here! <laughs> you don't need paper for that. It's like the riot act. The riot act. They keep telling you they're gonna read that to you. Have you heard this thing at all? Especially when you're a kid, they threaten you. You wait till your father comes home, he's gonna read you the riot act. Tell him I already read it myself. And I didn't like it either. I consider it wordy and poorly thought out. 
He wants to read me something. How about the gentleman's guide to the golden age of blowjobs? <laughs> More than happy. I bet you say that sometimes, don't you? Once in a while, you say to somebody, Oh, I'd be more than happy to do that. I say that dumbness, and I know he's about to tell me how stupid I am. How can you be more than happy? <laughs> to me, this sounds like a dangerous mental condition. <laughs> we had to put Dave in the mental home. He was... Whoa, more than happy. <laughs> One more of these, in your own words. People say that to you, you know, when you hear that a lot in a classroom or in a courtroom, they'll say to you, tell us in your own words. That's just so stupid. Do you stupid. have your own words? In your own words, like, whose words am I going to tell y'all this in? I'm sorry, I'm not the comedian here. In your own words. <laughs> Do you have your own words? Hey, I'm using the ones everybody else has been using. <laughs> Next time they tell you to say something in your own words, say, Nick Flat Blarney Quando Flu. Nick Flat Blarney Quando Flu. I, I think I remember that from something. I think that was in one other George Carlin reel of comedy that I've checked out. Because the way people put these comedy, um, comedy clips together, um, they'll trick the hell out of you. And they do this in a, honestly, some of these people will do this in, in a way that, um, that they can post it and, and I guess, um, and I don't know, be able to profit or grow their channels off of it or something like that. And then they'll mix it up with something else that meant something like it, it ended up being um, something that I actually listened to before, but they'll start it off with something different, causing me to believe that I'm actually checking out something different. So, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully I didn't already check this out, um, but a couple of those did sound familiar. Um, and if you um, know of a video that I checked out from George Collin that was similar to that, Trust me, I didn't check it out um, on purpose. I didn't purposefully check it out twice to try to pull one over on you. Um, so charge it to my mind, not my heart. But I wanted, I do want to hear what y'all got to say about this in the comments. And um, just let me know what y'all got to say. Introduce yourselves if you don't have anything to sell. What's up, Van? I am such and such. I have commented on 500 of your videos and you never said sugar, honey, iced tea. What's going on, brother? call me out in public and I'll say you know what I apologize I love you come join me on uh, my other social media platforms and let's have a good time huh? alright I still have fun so y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below if you have yet to hit that subscribe button please make sure you do so on your way out the door once again guys I'm banned now we are all the LFR family and if you're not already with that I already said that shit love y'all